The Spanish Grand Prix has been a permanent fixture on the Formula One calendar for over 30 years now, and for good reason. Do you remember Michael Schumacher's absolute dominance here in that rain-soaked Grand Prix in 1996? That day he took yep. his first ever victory for Ferrari, and we've had many more iconic moments since. It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the 730 meter sprint down to turn one at this 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging through these 16 corners, but there's still a lot of high speed excitement to be found, including the flat out turn three and the terrifying blind right of turn nine. Anthony Davidson also joins me in the commentary box today. Let's start with a new Alfa Romeo driver. We have a number of changes to the aerodynamic regulations this year, and the signs haven't looked good for them so far in terms of getting to grips with those changes. It doesn't look promising for them so far. And if the new regs have hit them as hard as we think, well, I suspect they may need a few late nights at the factory to get back on track. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday, and he starts from pole position. And it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Ricardo, Sainz, Pierre Gasly, and Leclerc, Fiat, Ocon, Matsushita, and Alexander Albon, Bottas, Perez, Lando Norris, and Alesi, Stroll, Gardner, Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen, Giovinazzi, Russell, Latifi, and Nick de Vries. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. All right, welcome everybody to the Spanish Grand Prix in season two of this JDM racing career mode, my team. And we are in 16th place. We got into Q2. We had a cooling issue and I had to sit and wait in the car for six minutes while the guys fixed that. So we didn't get too much running in Q2. I had to just wait. And so uh, Sergio went out and had has had good pace all weekend. I couldn't really get the car uh, working the way I liked it in as I could in Q1. So <clears throat> something went wrong there uh we just scraped through in the back of q2 but it does mean that we can flip the strategy around and work out stint two soft so we're gonna go maybe with 10 and 7 or 11 and 6. So yeah, let's go for that. Six laps on the soft. Yeah, so we had a sixth place finish in... Where was it? China. Um, got us back in a good shape, good form. So coming here, I always feel like we race better than we qualify. So hopefully we'll be able to get some points today as well. That's about it. Let's do it. All right, we let go of the clutch. We start firing down this back. This start straight. Little tap on a lacy there. I didn't want to take any damage, so I dropped to the back. We didn't take damage, but we have lost time. So that's a nightmare start for us. Not as bad as if we'd have taken damage on the front wing, especially on this strategy. Is a bad start, but don't overreact. We can salvage this. Well, you want to be poking fingers at the racing point, not me. Can we chuck two? Take the bollard out. Get both Williams out of the way. Yeah, 
nice. Let's stick it on Rich. Go for it. try and boost around the outside of him then couldn't do it get him in the braking zone though nice move good job thank you Jeff we're seeing a gap form good What is that? DRS not working. Yep, DRS is broken. To run in this engine mode much longer. We're about a lap over target. Drop down to mix too soon. Done it, Jeff. Well out of shape there, coming off that curb. Front just went really light. Power from the engine is going to be down slightly. It's showing some minor wear. All right, so we're <coughs> having problems with the engine. We haven't got DRS either. Bit of a sick car. Your DRS is offline. The rear wing is down, so you can stay out while we work on a fix. It's going to stay out anyway. Got 11 laps. Oh, now it's working. All right. The car ahead is a second a lap faster than you. Well, I'm on the wrong tyres. And over engine problems. I'm not a miracle worker, miracle worker Jeff. Blah, blah, blah. Get the words out, Matt. Flummoxed. Here's Pierre Gasly in 20th position. Doesn't sound very healthy. No, that's definitely a sick car. He just pulls off to the green rumble strip there. And Ferrari has to dive past him. 
as his engine looks like it's given out. And Pierre Gasly's out again. Gasly's yes, out. Deployed. The virtual safety car has been deployed. We need to keep a positive delta here. Slow down, maintain a positive delta. Slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. Sergio is in the pits. flag. Be aware, there's an incident in the next part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow flags. Gap to car in front is 3.6 seconds. Go long again and on strategy we're up to four. It'll only be a matter of time before Lewis catches us. Overtake and burn some of this energy. The Mercedes sandwich at the moment. Ricardo's in between as well. The gap to the car ahead is 3.3 seconds. Goes Lewis. It's got that much more grip than us at the moment. Here comes Lecaire down the inside. the inside line. Almost lost it there with the oversteer. Box, box. We're coming in this lap. Now we're going to box. Declare. him off. Be careful, we think you're going to start losing some tyre grip around now. Yeah, I lost that a while ago.
DRS is going to get. DRS to come back. There we go. Okay, good work. Great pass. Three laps of fuel remaining. Gap to teammate ahead is 18.1 seconds. A little bit of a roof bump there. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Well, we've been severely hampered by mechanical gremlins today, and I, I kind of feel like that's... There's only one lap of fuel remaining. ...really put a spanner in the works for us. In terms of being able to push or compete, Stappen wins again. Who's going to stop him? I don't think anyone is. We'll see you in Park Fermi. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Lewis was in third, so it's not even like he's just closing it out with a second place. He's come third. Drop more points. Let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings.
Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. Hmm. So another non-score from us pushes us down. But we are still fighting there with Ferrari and McLaren. Uh, in terms of the championship, not much changes, really. Um, Ocon just moves above Gasly. And Kvyat moves above me. And Stroll. So he had a good weekend. So. Verstappen dominates by 10 seconds from Ricardo and Hamilton. Hamilton half a second behind Ricardo, So he just couldn't get past him. Probably held up. And Verstappen in clean air. 7 tenths quicker than anyone else on ultimate pace and gets the fastest lap and the extra point Charles Leclerc is best of the rest outside of the Mercedes and Red Bulls he comes fourth so that's a great result for him beating Sainz uh, so that's an important result for Ferrari Kvyat heads Ocon in the Renaults and then Albon gets some more points for AlphaTauri and Matsushita scores again and then the reigning world champion Bottas comes home with the final point. Sergio for us comes 12th. And we, after suffering major problems with the car, not being able to really get any kind of pace going, we come home 18th. Only really uh, outpacing the Williams cars and Magnussen, who seems to have an off weekend as well. And that's pretty much the story of the race. Um, not much happened. Barcelona's like that sometimes. Sometimes they're absolute stunners, sometimes they're just processions. I mean, that pretty much ruined the race for us as well. Getting knocked off at the start. But I think with some engine upgrades, uh, some chassis upgrades, some fresh parts, uh, we're going to be looking good for Monaco At this point in the race just moving down the inside of Russell or Jim I can't even remember if that was Russell or Giovinazzi. I think it was Russell. Trying to get overtakes done because DRS was only working at certain pe periods and parts of the race. Charles Leclerc tried one on us. We said, sit down Charles, not today. And that's pretty much that. A frustrating weekend. 
we seem to be having a few of these now, so I think it's just a case that the parts that we've developed need to really come along now in order for us to start moving back up and getting that early season um, momentum that we had with like the podiums in Bahrain and Australia. So we've fallen behind on development and we need to really pick it back up because the other teams that are around us have caught us up and now we're suffering again. So it's going to be important for us to keep going and make sure we try and maximize as much sponsorship money as we can to uh, develop the areas of the HQ and in turn get more acclaim and then push that back into the team with R&D. That's going to be the main focus um, because we can't really afford too many weekends like this one uh, where we've got to go back to the drawing board. So it's um, a work in development still, but we've got to stick with it. Rome wasn't built in a day. Insert cliche here. If you've got any good ones, mark them in the comments. And yeah, we've just got to hope that Monaco is better than than here. Um, and that's the light at the end of the tunnel. Did you see what I did there? Wink, wink. That we've got to look towards. So thanks for watching this Spanish Grand Prix. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Come and say hi in the Discord. <clears throat> That'll be linked in the description. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.